Hello everyone, teacher Stefan here, coming to you live with a class called Ponies. Aw, ponies. This is nonfiction, as ponies, unlike unicorns, are real. Let's look at the pictures of all these ponies and horses and four-legged brown and white beautiful creatures. Do you like horses? Teacher Stefan likes horses. Teacher Stefan likes to ride horses and pet horses and even feed them apples and carrots. I think they are beautiful. My Chinese animal is the horse. Did you know? What do you know about horses? Horses are strong, fast, helpful, majestic, beautiful. They can jump high. What do you know about ponies? Oh, ponies are smaller than horses? Wait, are all horses male and all ponies female? No, that can't be right. Hmm. Maybe we have monkeys and baboons. Maybe that's horses and ponies. I'm not sure. Do you know? What's the difference? Let's find out. The horse versus the pony. Both horses and ponies are of the same species and come from the exact same family tree. Okay, so humans are one species. Horses and ponies are another species. It means types of creature or animal. Here's the difference. I think it's about size. If one is more than 14.2 hands, that is a horse. If one is less than 14.2 hands, that is a pony. Okay, so it's just size. But I wonder whose hands? Ponies tend or have a pattern of, they tend to have thicker mane and coat and are more resistant to cold weather. Mm so ponies stay warmer. They do better in the cold. They are fluffier. Ponies are more playful than horses. So they're smaller, fluffier, and more silly. Sounds like ponies are a great pet. Horses with their speed are used for traveling purposes, like holding a cowboy, pulling a carriage, and ponies with their stockier bodies, that means shorter legs, okay? When you're stocky, it means you're built solid, but a little more small. So with their stockier bodies are used for slow, heavy work. And horses are used for what would you rather be? A fast, tall, lean horse or a slow, stocky, fluffy pony? The first picture, do you think that's a horse or a pony? It's a pony. The third picture, horse or pony? Probably a horse. And the second picture? Well, that looks like a pony and a horse. Here we go. This book is called Ponies and our picture shows a little girl and her pony. Notice how her head is actually at the mouth or jaw of the pony and she's only a little girl. This is a good hint that this is a pony and not a horse. And look at its head. It's kind of shrunk. It's stocky. It's more muscly. That's a pony. What is my pet? 
I live on a small farm. I have a pony called Patches. Some ponies are as small as a large dog. My pony is larger than my bicycle. She is just the right size for me to ride. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a pony? Hmm. With a wee here, wee there, here a wee, there a wee, everywhere a wee, wee. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I, E-I, O. Oh, is this a mama pony and her baby pony or a horse and a pony? Sometimes it's hard to tell. Maybe baby ponies start out light color and then their fur thickens or grows and turns deep brown. You can tell it's a baby because it has skinny little legs and it has no mane, just a little mohawk. It actually looks like a donkey. Maybe a donkey is part pony. I don't know. What are ponies? Ponies are mammals, like humans. We have warm blood that runs through our bodies. Unlike reptiles, like crocodiles and lizards, they have cold blood. But ponies have warm blood. Mother mammals make milk for their babies. Yes. The mum, just like humans, makes milk, and this provides food for the baby pony. Baby ponies are called foals. Baby humans are just called babies. Baby kangaroos are called kids. Mm-hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. So there is an official measurement for horses versus ponies. We have our short, stocky, furry, brown pony whose head only goes up to the bum of a horse under 14.2 hands at the neck. And look, the neck of our horse is 17 hands and its head is even higher. Ponies, as a cute way to think about it, are just small horses. People are measured in feet. Horses are measured in hands. Ponies can be up to 14 hands tall. If it's taller, then it's a horse. Same species, different heights. Now there's our pony. Look at its fuzzy face, much fuzzier than a horse. It's cuter, it looks younger. It looks more like a teddy bear. And its hair comes out the front. <sighs> Horses slick back like teacher Stefan. Ooh la la. My pony lives in a large field. At night, she stays in a stable. A stable is a barn, a home, a house for ponies and horses and cows and sheep. It's big and open and has straw and hay on the floor. There is food and water in the stable. Mm -hmm. Stable, 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 stable. A stable also means to stay balanced, to stay stable. And here, our pony is eating some straw and hay that the cute little girl is holding up to its mouth. <clears throat> pony. What does my pony eat? Ponies like to eat grass, like the cow. They also like to eat hay, which is a dried grass. For a special treat, my pony gets a sugar cube. She likes apples too, and probably carrots, and probably many more foods. If you hold up food to a pony, it's sure to bite. Careful. If they know you, they can eat it right out of your hand. But be careful. If they don't know you, who knows? Maybe they'll eat your hand. Oh, 
teacher Stefan. That's so horrible. Things my pony needs. Mm -hmm. Well, look at our two little ponies here. They are just the cutest. My pony needs a safe place to live. Our field has strong fences. Do you see the blue fence in the back made of wire and wood? Our field has strong fences and some trees. The trees provide shade. In the summer, the shade from the trees keeps my pony cool. You need to give your pony lots of love. Imagine a pony living in a parking garage or in a beautiful, sunny, grassy, tree-filled field. Much better. And here a pony has a little blanket strapped around its belly. This pony is white, brown, and black. Beautiful. In the winter, my pony needs a warm blanket. She wears the blanket in the field when it is cold. She goes into the stable when the weather is bad. Yes, <clears throat> in the winter, she can survive on her own outside. If it gets bad, we give her a coat. If it gets really bad, we bring her inside because we love her. Oh, 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 oh. Never walk behind a horse unless you know the horse, unless you are professional. A pony's kick can hurt really bad. It looks like they're changing the horse shoes while the little girl holds the pony from the front. Ponies need special shoes for their feet or hooves. Dogs and tigers have paws. Humans have feet. Horses and goats have hooves. Each shoe is shaped like a U. The shoes protect the hooves. Wild horses and ponies, of course, don't have horseshoes or pony shoes because they run on soil and grass. But our pet ponies and horses need horseshoes because they walk on concrete and roads and hard surfaces. This protects. It helps their feet from getting hurt. What do I do for my pony? Well, look at this little girl. Is she brushing the tail of her pony? That's a good pony. I brush my pony's coat every day. Oh, the coat, the body, the fur. I always check that she is walking right. I give her food and fresh water. Yes, you brush the pony, not just for prettiness, but to make sure the bugs and mud and dirt get brushed out. And of course, ponies work hard and run and their knees can sometimes hurt. So if a pony needs rest, you can see it in the way they walk. Ah, uh, look at this pony jump. I ride my pony as often as I can. Riding gives my pony exercise. It helps her to stay healthy. It also gives us a bond of friendship. The more we ride, the better we understand each other. It is also good exercise for me. I teach my pony tricks. She can jump over some rails. One, two, three rails, as a matter of fact. Would you like to go jumping on a pony? That looks dangerous to me. What can my pony do? My pony can take me for rides. She can go to the pony show with me. Have fun on your pony. We sometimes win a prize. First place for the most beautiful, jumping, wonderful pony. This book is about ponies. The differences between ponies and horses and how to take care of your pony. This nonfiction selection introduces children to ponies. How many ponies do you see here? One, two, three, four, five. What are some facts you learned about ponies from this book? 
Hmm. Ponies are mammals, like humans. The babies are called foals. They can be up to 14 hands tall. If they're taller, they're a horse. They need fresh grass and water. They need special shoes called horse shoes or pony shoes, shaped like a U. What else? Ponies are cute and I want one. What is something that mother mammals do for their babies? Hmm, mother mammals. They provide milk. Mother mammals make milk for their babies. What is the section called things my pony needs mostly about? Oh, teacher Stefan, I forget. The kind of shelter, yes, the stable, the barn, and things a pony needs. Love, warmth, and attention. What could happen if a pony didn't have shoes? I think I know this one. It would hurt its feet. This would hurt its knees. This would hurt its legs. And the pony would walk no more. Yeah, it could get stones and small pebbles and sharp rocks hurting its hooves. What do all people who own ponies need to do for them? Brush them, feed them, house them, love them, ride them, hug them. Give them food and water, give them shelter, keep them warm in winter, give them exercise. Is taking care of a pony easy or hard? It's hard. It's a lot of work. Think about a dog that's 10 times as tall and eats 10 times as much and poops 10 times bigger. Some may say it's easy because ponies are fun to take care of, but it's hard because ponies need a lot of things and a lot of attention. Would you like to have a pony? Yes or no? Why or why not? If I were rich, yes, but I'm not, so no. <laughs> Your homework is to make a poster called Taking Care of Pets. So don't get a piece of paper. Get a huge piece of paper. That's a poster. List all the things that pet owners should do for their animals. Step one, get a marker. Draw a horse. Then write taking care of pets. Then get a pen and write a list. You need to feed it. You need to love it. You need to pop up, 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 pop up. Share this book with a family member and talk about what ponies are like and how they are different from other animals. Ponies are not as big as horses. They are slower. They are more work than a cat, but less work than a tiger. Hey, I'm Teacher Stefan. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.